everybody and welcome back I hope you're all well I'm doing good thank you very much and I hope you're playing City Skylines and I hope you're here to see what I've been doing well this video is all about 15 little updates I've done to Tavino recently so I've done a bit of waste management there is a bit of an issue with requiring some waste and just now I'm just trying to improve one of the slopes using one of the uh, electric mods try to improve the slopes so they're not quite so steep for the trains to go up. So I was building this little area in one of the previous videos and I decided there's a huge amount of traffic being generated by the trams and I needed some more residential area so it's probably time to expand it. So I've just basically looped it up, created a road from underneath the railway onto the roundabout that's always been there and just joined up that particular area built some residential area, rezoned it up, and it's really hopefully, well, done the demand requirements for residential. And hopefully also reduces some of that kind of tailbacks that I was having with the trams. The tailbacks really are the trams come along and they turn right. And I've realized actually I should probably have tried to make it so they turn left. Anyway, they turn right down those dedicated tram routes that I did in, I can't remember, episode 33. 34, maybe 35, could be 36, could be all of them, I can't remember. But that's what I've been doing, that's uh, update three. So update four, expanding the residential area. As I just said, this is the area that I've expanded. It's the same area that I had all of the trams. As you can see, the redness is showing that there's quite a lot of traffic in certain areas going along that main road. I linked it up. I've added a few more bits and pieces in. There is no trams. I think I do add a little bit of a bus route to it. So buses can travel around. And I also put a underpass from the train station into that area so people can still use public transport without having to walk a huge amount of area to actually get to their homes but I would imagine they're going to predominantly drive. So this is update seven. This is a little gem. I mean, I saw it on Biffa, then I noticed it's on the workshop, and I think when you even load the game, it's displayed. It's something called the big parking lot. I mean, it's absolute genius for any of you who've made car parks using the previous car parking sort of roads, which give you a really wide road, and then you have a narrow road, and then you have to put all these decals on. This is just brilliant. So it comes in certain elements. You do the drive, which I've already done. Then you do this border. It's quite important with the border that you have it the right way around. I think, generally speaking, you have to do the border in an anti-clockwise way. And when you look at it, they do a grass version and a concrete version. When you look at it, it does look slightly wider on one side and narrow on the other. Otherwise, the whole thing does not work. However, once you create the border, you then create the filler. 
and these are roads if you leave one square you put the road up you put one square you put the road up you do another square you put another road up now I'm making a bit of an odd shape just here now this is near my tram area which has got my helicopter port and my tram stop and it leads over to the big park the mega park as I'd like to say so it leads over there now you can see look the borders are not way around you can quite easily change this if you just use the upgrade option and then do the reverse like you do for a one-way street if you want to make it go the other way you simply go around and change it so obviously I did this deliberately the wrong way around so you could see what was going on but you can now see you've got one border once that's done you can select a the filler road which I'm about to do in a second up 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 down down there it is perfect you click on that now again it's not a perfect square it's easy to do if you've got a square and trying to decide the way to do this is yeah, a little bit of a strange one anyway so you leave one square you have to leave another one square this is not going to work just now i don't think because you've got a bit of a strange gap so you have to go down and work it out how best to do it so i've decided to go that way decisive I realized that when I'm trying to do it I'm not doing it particularly well and because I've got this not perfectly square one it's causing me a little bit of a brain fart can't work out what to do so if you do do this as you can see on the left hand side I've got a bit of a triangle that's not going to work for the the little kind of imprints that you have to do in a second which is brilliant because they just literally you don't have to do all that decal you literally well you know we have to zoom in rotate it slightly align it get the next one do the same again try to align it again try to join it up when you're really close and magnify it. it's just i mean it's a little bit difficult to do but it can be done anyway as you can see you can sometimes just turn snap on and off so it doesn't try to snap the road where it's going so you can see it's not doing exactly what I wanted to do but away you go now importantly I've just thought about this since recording this they have made an update if you look on the workshop there is an update the update now provides you the little clicks these things look at this brilliant bang 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 it can align them straight away there's no mucking about no fiddling anyway I'll go back to what I was saying on the workshop they've now done an update the update now provides you with um, snaps like the parking spaces in larger values you can now just have them on one side they also do disabled parking and you can also do disabled parking which is not active so I imagine that means that no cars will ever park there so if you've got disabled parking spaces you don't want any cars to use them you can use the non activated parking versions but it's brilliant and if you read the workshop and I'll try to find the link to it and put it in the description below to show me more stuff beneath this video. They are doing, or he is, or they are, she is, um, I can't remember if it's a he or she, is doing an update which should make it even, even better. So the areas to the left and right there, you can see the misshapen ones, basically the best option there for me and probably for everything is if you can't fit them in, you fill them with something like you know, gravel, tarmac, whack a few trees in there, a few bushes, make it look kind of nice, maybe put some lights on it, because the one thing it doesn't have is any lights, and I think that will make it look spot on. eight well i just decided to add a cruise harbor i've not decorated it i've not done anything with it i just wanted to add some cruise areas in now i chose this area this is my sort of super dense area that i did an experiment in i've got the metro and the monorail and this is where i decided to add this now you see i've got my park i've also in the distance got a big parking lot as well 
and I decided to put the cruise in. I thought, right, I'll put the cruise one in, I'll put a nice little bus route around, and the bus route will go from the cruise harbour to one of the monorails, so the passengers who don't have a car, in fact, there's no parking anywhere near that at the moment, they don't have a car, they can always get a public transport, they can go from, as it would be from this one, from the cruise liner to the monorail, from the monorail to the monorail and metro no monorail i think it is monorail metro and train hub from there they can go over to the rather large train terminal and from there they can catch a train to the international airport so okay a few hops just a few hops but you no know, passengers who want to come in from out of town can fly in get the train get the monorail and a little bus bingo on the cruise ship so it's nothing special as i said i just wanted to put one in i had difficulties trying to add a a uh, cargo harbor and i think i've rectified that now but i thought i'll just put a couple of cruise ships well a sorry cruise ship port or harbor in and see how that uh, increases tourism <music> So update nine is all about the tracks. It's all about the tracks, baby. So yeah, um, if you remembered in one of my previous episodes, this is the, as I said, the massive experimental area where I just put all the monorails in and I wasn't happy with the way that the monorails were. I basically put a rail in, 90 degree turn, another rail, 90 degree, another rail. It didn't look very good at all. So I decided to change it. And as you can see, actually, I've got a huge, huge, Huge number of passengers there at that station I'm, I'm loving it so as you can see now all of the monorails have been rounded I've made them a little bit smoother and although actually the monorail is levitating over that roundabout I have made changes to it uh, you don't see it here but I have added the relevant pillows in using the move it mod just so that the monorails just don't yeah levitate which they wouldn't do but I think you will agree it does look much nicer update 10 yes it's the big parking it's the big parking lock um, I just can't get it out can I today it's the big parking lot I did another one I already said that I did that in the cruise in the cruise shall I start again this is part 10 no this is update 10 Jesus come on this is update 10 this is the big parking lot which I already mentioned I did when I was looking at part 8 the update 8 which was all to do with adding the cruise area as you can see this is a huge one and the blue bar what is the blue bar that is i guess clipping areas now the big parking lot comes with a clipping square that allows you to get rid of some of the small errors but for some strange reason although i leveled this area out so it's all completely flat which is one of the things you have to do to use the big parking lot it still came up with that blue area i haven't done it here but i have done it recently I've deleted the parking spaces that was there because I just couldn't get rid of it. I did try several other things and I just grabbed it, whacked in a few trees just to mask it over and I think you agree that when you look at it like that it doesn't look too bad. Now the important thing and I mentioned previously you need to have traffic manager president edition in and you need to turn on the parking AI otherwise the parking lot will remain completely empty. Now, I haven't read the documentation, I will admit to you, and I am just listening to what Biffa said. Apparently, they will try to park their cars up to 10 times. I don't know if that's true. I'm sure it is. I can't be asked to read it. I just watch YouTube. You know what I mean? Update 11, surprise, surprise, is another residential area. Tavino, for whatever reason, requires huge amounts of residential areas. Now, I haven't got a huge amount of commercial areas, but I do have quite a lot of industry. And I don't know if that is what is driving this massive requirement to put in residential areas. I don't know. 
maybe somebody can tell me below in the comments but I do not know why whenever I am sort of playing the game he goes residential areas required you need some more residential areas and I'm like seriously I'm not doing anything it's not like I've got commercial demand or anything along those lines I am just putting in huge amounts of residential areas anyway as it happened I wanted to whack in a residential area just here anyway again just in the distance is the area that I did with the trams and just over sort of about 11 10 11 o'clock is where the big mega park is and I just wanted to extend the train line really over along and yeah just put a new train route in because I just fancied doing it and that's what I've done and as you can see I zoned it all up and it is there and ready to be populated Unlucky for some, number 13, new cargo in Trainport. So I was playing the game and I decided to turn on in TMPE the despawning so it would not despawn any traffic. And I did this and I lost 15 million sim dollars. Why was that? Traffic, 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 traffic. It drove me crazy. I spent many, many hours using the traffic view, looking at the red stuff I was sort of following around, looking at the round amounts, making sure that they were set correctly. Some weren't, some were. And it's the oil industry. I thought it was the oil industry. The oil industry generates a absolute ton of trucks. I mean, a huge, 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 huge amount. So I decided what I'm going to do is I am going to move one of my ports, which I had, which was generating, you know, traffic was going to the uh, train transport port and it was just generating huge amounts of traffic. I thought, right, I'm going to move it. Now, why don't I try moving it and making it a cargo ship port as well? I haven't used one of those before and I put it opposite the cruise harbour. I thought, hey, that's, um, there's an issue with the uh, shipping routes and lanes. It's very limited what you can do in the map, but I have uh, used one of the Anarchy mods to adjust that now, but I hadn't at this point. So I've basically put a large uh, train line, which goes across the open water and the highway. It takes the trains, the cargo, and all of the you know, truck cargo to this one terminal and it eased my congestion massively because I had you know, basically lorries going from the farming area, the ore area, the forest area to a train cargo, you know, depot if you want to call it that, and the amount of traffic was just unbelievable. And then you had the oil on top of it and I thought, you know what, let's move it, just move it, get it over and done with. And I've done it and it just, well, I started making money again to be honest I mean that's the main thing right make some money and all of a sudden free the traffic free the cash the cash is now rolling it in which is just brilliant right so number 14 really isn't an update it's more of a catastrophe I was playing the game and I suddenly came across in the distance when I was making the previous residential area, one of the previous residential areas, I could just see in the distance a little fire. And by the time I got over here, it was no longer a little fire. It was a rather large fire. Now I don't turn off fires, you know, it was a bit boring, wouldn't it, if there was no fires. I don't have the kind of catastrophe mode turned on or whatever that is called. But I thought, eh, you know what, I'm going to you know, you leave, I'm going to leave the fires running and I think it looks quite nice actually with the fires going. I was a bit worried that I didn't have any fire stations nearby but by the time I got over here, I could see that my little you know, Land Rover Defender was there and a couple of the UK fire engines was there and also more importantly the fire helicopters were there but as you can see my fire does spread rather rapidly. Fortunately once it is put out 
after a few, I don't know if it's a few cycles, but they certainly do come back. And eventually trees do bloom back into green leaves as well, which is quite handy. Now, obviously, if you're playing stuff with Rico, you may not want this on because it will destroy the buildings. And maybe that's why a lot of people who sort of do more Rico, more kind of like, you know, stop. They don't use the zoning. They manually play stuff, probably don't have it on because a fire would destroy what they've just pretty spent many, many hours doing. So a big thank you to you if you've managed to get this far into the video. What do you manage? Of course you got this far. It's a superb video. What What would I think? Why would you manage it? Anyway, hit the subscribe button if you enjoy it. Don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you've liked it. Don't forget to hit the notification bell if you want to be told of future videos by me. So once again, keep yourself safe, keep yourself well. It's goodbye from me for now. Thank you.